Um. Oh shit! Ugh, damn it, I fell. But no, um, something that I always look for whenever it comes to arcade games, there has to be either Galaga or Pac-Man. And they did have. They they had they had one that was a combination of the two. I'm like, you know, I'm I'm cool with that. As of recently, yeah. Well, no, I mean, because I, when I went to, like, pizza places and stuff back in New York when I was a kid, it was all, but the thing was, it was never original Pac-Man, it was always Mrs. Pac-Man. And, oh, know, Mrs. Pac-Man's okay. Mrs. Pac-Man is better than regular Pac-Man, there's my hot take. I don't see the difference between the two of you, you're just well, controlling a character yeah, collecting dots. better controls, like, if you're talking about the old Pac-Man yeah. video game cabinet, Mrs. Pac-Man Many people will argue stuff. that there is a difference. Uh, well, so here's the thing about Mrs. Pac-Man. It was an unlicensed clone game by a bunch. Galaga cabinet, that Galaga, cabinet. <laughs> Galaga game that was at the Vegas arcade. Ah! Gotcha. Oh shit. Did you have a? Cake? That's funny. You say that magical. What did he say? Did you have a cake on your birthday? Well, yes and no, but I will tell you when I get in the call that I'm making my coffee right now. Yeah. Hey, babe. Mm-hmm. I love you. I love you too. No. If I ever get one of those, uh, those like freaking arcade emulators, yeah, I'm so fucking streaming Galaga. Oh, hey. One yeah. Minute. Everyone in the chat, give Brett a congratulations. He got his first vaccine shot the other day. Yes, I did. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like genuinely, I know that sounded facetious, but I mean, I no, mean, like that's that's a happy. legit, um, that's a legit step up, uh, and that's something I do encourage everybody else to do. Um, uh, the thing that is always challenging is some of the vaccines, depending on which one you get, there's always going to be the side effects, and some of which can be a real bitch. There's some people who suffered and... Like me! No, there's some people who died and had blood clots because of certain uh, shots. Oh. Well, that's also because it was oh, interacting no. with birth control. It was it was specifically for ladies who took the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, 18 through 34, which is why they pulled it for a bit. It's pretty. You're pretty much safe as hell if you're a guy. But Mame, that's what it was called. Sorry, I was reading the chat. Oh no, it's fine. I was just clarifying. But uh, I was gonna say a thing. Oh yeah, fuck. Okay, so yeah, I was just gonna say fuck. So like, I was texting Max earlier because he was he's up in his hometown to get his vaccine. Mm-hmm. And he got a second shot, which hooray! But uh. He was like, oh, by the way, the vaccine side effects finally kicked in. I was like, oh, no, because he got the same one I got. So I was like, oh, no. And then he took a picture, and his arms are, like, red. And he's like, I got these weird discolorations on my arm, which is totally from the shot. And not for the fact that I was outside for the first time in one and a half years. So he basically <laughs> was saying he had a sunburn. And I was like, you fucker. <laughs> That, Max would oh, so dear. fucking do that. Yeah, and then he and then he was like, "Well, uh, if it means anything, my allergies are so bad right now because it's uh, it's such nice weather. The pollen is everywhere." I was like, "Yeah, that's partial karma." But knowing how bad your allergies are, I can't feel fully bad for you. I can never take pure joy in your pain, and that's my one weakness. He's like, "That's how it is." I was like, "Fuck you, Max." I I I, I always look forward to seeing Max in person. Both well, he and I, the way we bounce off each other, it's funny as shit. Well, with his shot now, we're hopefully going to be seeing him in November. Yeah, crossed. and I firmly believe that in the future, I don't know how long, but I'm pretty sure it would be close. Wearing masks will be a thing of the past. I mean, it's a thing hopefully. Of the past um. Of the past. But I'm going to go into the Discord call now. All right, you you go do that. <laughs> I I have a different I have a different opinion on that like and the thing is and I don't mean this to in like a bad way or anything but so me personally uh -huh. I feel that um mass culture is just something that's going to be is going to be kind of kind of become the norm it's not going to be something that like will be mandated but it's going to be seen as being more acceptable the way it is in, like, many Asian countries, because... And I would be... I, I'm completely fine with that. Oh, are we talking about wearing masks during yeah. the flu season? So, I'm doing yeah. that because I don't... I I get colds and flus and strep throat really badly, and I don't want that anymore. Yeah, that's that's when... I, I, I personally like not being in pain. Yeah, that's that's where um, you know that's that's the that's the thing. Uh, let's say in Japan, 
like if somebody is sick or like if they have a cold or something, yeah, they would have to put on a mask to prevent spreading diseases. Yeah, uh, but well, the other just reason walk with, a, with a mask on just during that season to, you know, there's also like an enormous amount of pollution going on in Japan, like because they live near a volcano. Yeah, but where and... we have a lot of pollution in the United States for being the United States. <laughs> Very Ooh. true. Oh, also, China's we live in well... Los Angeles. We live in Los Angeles, bro. Of all places, you want to know how many foreign friends I have, Max included, that just. That when they touch down into the United States, they're just like, are those clouds or smog? And I, and I don't want to give an answer because I know the truth. Oof. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's all George Clooney's acceptance speech. It's smug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I don't, I don't want to live in a world with creators of South Park who are right. Oh, well, God. they are right. A lot of times, uh, yeah, uh, a number of times they are right. Yes. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. yeah. I, but I mean, right in the means of being prophetic. It's kind of like The Simpsons being prophetic, you know. Except right. The Simpsons became kind of dated after a while. That, no, no. Well, the thing is, is that when you look at a lot of like uh, old Simpsons clips, and then you look at it now, it's it has this weird feeling like they told the future. Right. Yeah. But also that a lot of those, a lot of them are like, particularly the celebrity ones are just kind of like, wait, were they trying to tell us something? <laughs> and now we just know, like, there's a Family Guy clip where uh, Stewie is like running naked through the mall and he's like, help, help, I just escaped Kevin Spacey's basement. And it's like, oh. <laughs> oh, they were oh my to, God. They were, they were trying to tell us something. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Oof! This is what happens when you have me on stream. Sorry. Oh my god. No, don't be sorry. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin. <it> to... <laughs> don't worry, I will I will be quiet now and paint my nails like a good little Chrissy. No, no, no it's you don't, your you don't have to be quiet. But, uh, something I'll mention, um, since you're on the call now, is that... So you were mentioning Hi. the 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 round one uh, i was trying to think of the name yeah. um there's a place here in our neck of the woods that i've yet to go to and i hope it's still around because i had found out about it uh before the troubles happened oh no the panorama but uh, but, uh i i think it is probably still around like there's uh, considering like you know ellie and i went axe throwing earlier today so i'm sure it's still around but um um there is a bar and arcade literally called the Double Dragon here where oh, we live. Been there. How I've would been they, there. how would the owner have the rights to name it like that? Well, be, okay, well the thing is, Brett, trademarks are uh, when you trademark a title or something, you trademark it under certain connotations like video game and media. So you could trademark Double Dragon for a restaurant or brick and mortar location. Mm -hmm. And it's not the same trademark as a as the video game's name. All right, I'll give you that. Mm. Yeah. Although, <laughs> kind of kind of a funny aside, the the rights to the Double for Dragon franchise are so screwed up. <laughs> like nobody that knows. Is, who that is also very true. Oh, Charky. Yes. Have you guys been to Holiday World yet? Since living in Indiana. No, we have not. I mean, granted, you know. I know we've had plenty of opportunity before the troubles happened, but uh, I, I, I guess we just haven't had the big like motivation to go yet. Although it's such a it's such a nice little day trip though. Like I it's, it's, I hate it, I hate Indiana. The only things I like in Indiana are you guys and Holiday World. <laughs> I mean, and the funny thing yeah. is, we wanted to go to roller coasters last year. Uh, for our first wedding anniversary, but that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. um, but we were wanting to go to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, which oh, Cedar Point's nice. Oh God, yeah, that makes Disneyland, that makes Disney World look like a freaking bike ride. It just like, fuck, dude. I think it's owned by the same general company that owns Six Flags, so they, Ugh. so you know that they are going to have some epic, epic rides. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh damn! So, I think Kings Island is also owned by the same people who have. I, I think so. Yeah. 
but uh but yeah, oh, the so Double Dragon. I... Oh god, the Double Dragon movie was complete dog shit. The thing is, I kind of like that movie for how stupid it is. I like it for the same reason I like the Mario Brothers movie when you think of the context of, well, how much did they really have to work with? Yeah. But in me, all fair... me, none of them can compare to the fucking uh, Street Fighter movie with Raul Julia's... Uh, that movie was just so thing. fucking stupid that it's just, it's a film that you can just watch with your friends and laugh at. That, and it's a masterpiece. Yeah. So, um, yeah. but, uh... I'm, I'm sorry, were think... we talking about that or the Street Fighter animated movie? The the live action Street Fighter the movie with Raul Julia. That's yeah. It is a masterpiece, and I won't hear otherwise. No one um, poo-poo's on the live action Street Fighter in this house. But I'm trying, to think <laughs> of, I'm trying to think of the guy. He was the bad guy in the Double Dragon movie, and Robert Patrick. Yeah, him. The the guy who, uh, you know, who had previously was the T1000 in mm -hmm. T2. Yeah. But screw that. His role as the bad guy, Double Dragon, is much more notable. Uh, oh, he's, that's a damper. He's so, he's so good. I uh, just want world yeah. domination. But uh, just to answer someone in the chat, because someone at uh, Zuckerman asked, who's been to Hershey Park? I have. And my favorite story about that is my Aunt Mo, bless her heart, when she printed out, because, you know, we went before there were, like, you can get a GPS on your phone. And we didn't have an actual GPS in, in our here. car. So we oh, printed no. out the directions. <laughs> and mm. my aunt made the starting location not Valley Stream, New York. Nay, nay. Uh, Philadelphia. So we were <laughs> on the wrong side of the highway. So a two hour trip turned into a six hour one. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. That, was, that was fun when you were in a Jeep. That had okay. Who were who came with us that time? It was my mom, my dad, me, my little cousin Steffi, who still had to be in a car seat. So you can imagine the girth of that passenger. Oh boy! Um, my aunt Mo, uh, my uncle John, and then my aunt Kelly, who just sat in the trunk because it was you know it's one of those jeeps where you could still see that the trunk was spacious. So it wasn't like we were mafiaing her. So, <laughs> like. Uh, Damn it. That was a that was an interesting trip, but Hershey Park is fun. For people who don't know what Holiday World was, though, it's this little. Uh, it's actually the oldest amusement park in the United States, like uh, not amusement park, theme park, a park with a theme, and it's a. Uh, it's in Santa Claus, Indiana. Yes, that's a real name of a real place. Okay. And. and uh, this park is great because with this, you get free parking, free Wi-Fi, uh, free sunscreen, and free and free refreshments. Like they have Pepsi stations everywhere wow. that has that has. That water sounds and like a drinks. fucking deal. It's I it's so great, and, and and the day and the day tickets because you have because they have the normal park and they also have the Splash God City damn. or whatever they call it. So there's a water park too, and the normal day passes are only like fifty dollars. And it's and and the theme, if you can guess by the name, is different holidays. So they have a Fourth of July land, they have a Christmas land, they have a Thanksgiving land. That sounds and like they fun. They have a, a Halloween land. <clears throat> yeah, it's super Ooh. fun. And they have great food. The Thanksgiving land literally has a buffet that's all Thanksgiving food and turkey legs, which is great. Oh and, yeah. And some sick ass wooden coasters. Like their wooden coasters and their water rides are great. I hate Indiana. I don't need to explain why I hate Indiana. No. But I, but I will go Come back into Indiana to go to Holiday up. World. I just wish there was a plane that I could just fly into Holiday World Come and on. fly out so I don't have to go I, to the nasty I, in between. 